In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WooCommerce account page with a featured product section for logged in users. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the very first thing we need to do here is to make sure that we install WooCommerce. This is a free plugin that allows us to create an online store. So I've gone ahead and installed it. And once you install it, you have a, some default pages. One of them is called My Account. And this is the one that we need to go in and start customizing. And before I continue, I'd also like to remind you that if you want to download this layout, you can go to the post that I'll link to in the show notes below. All right, so I wanna come over here now to My Accounts page and click on Edit. Now this page is created by default when you install WooCommerce. All right, so this is my page here. I'm going to just go to the editor here. Now, firstly, before you even continue, you need to add this short code. And again, if you want to uh, use the exact same short code, you can just go to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. All right, so this short code is the short code that's going to show all the content that we need when we design the page. Now it's time to build our website. So let's go ahead and click on use Divi Builder. So I'm going to click on start building. Now you can see here that my short code has been added. Now, if you don't have a page which has a short code, well, that's simple. All you have to do is to add a text module and I'll just uh, pretend to add one here. And then in that text module, all you have to do is to add the short code like that. And once you enter the short code, you're going to achieve the same result as we have here on the top. So as you can see, those are identical. All right, so I'm just gonna delete one of them. So the next thing we're gonna do is to stylize the background. So I'm gonna come over here to my section settings, click on background. Now the design we need for the background is going to be a gradient. So I'm gonna click on the second tab, click on the plus button and let's add our first color. So I'm gonna paste my color in here and then I'm also going to add my second color. Now, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so our second color here is going to have some transparency. So I'm gonna drag this second slider down a little bit, and then I'm gonna paste my values between the brackets like that. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my gradient direction and I'm gonna set this to 90 degrees. Right, so moving on, we're going to add the start position and here we're gonna set it to 33% and then the end position is going to be zero. Now, this is the desire, this is the design that we've just achieved just by adding that background. Okay, so now that we have uh, added that background, the next stage is to add an image. So I'm gonna click here on this third tab, click on the plus button. So the image I'm gonna add is this one right here. So I'm gonna select it and click upload image. Now you can use uh, whatever image that you want to use and just make sure that it's wide enough. In this case, I'm using 1920 by uh, 1920 pixels wide. Okay, so before we continue, now because I've added this image here, we're not going to see our background. So what we need to do is to place the background above the image and to do that, I'm just gonna come over here to my gradient, and then I'm gonna scroll down here and place the gradient above the image. So now you can see my background is now above the image. All right, that's looking great. I'm gonna save this, and then I'm gonna add another text module. I'm gonna search for it and select it. Now here, I'm just gonna add a title, and the title is just going to be my account. I'm gonna highlight it and set this to heading one. Now let's stylize this text. So I'm gonna come over here to design, heading text and make sure you're on heading one. Now the font we're gonna use is called prompt. So I'm gonna search for it here and select it. Next, we're gonna make it bold. So I'm gonna change the weight here to bold. And then I am going to change the text color. Now, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so I'm gonna click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Next, I am going to change my size. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and set my size here. And my size here is going to be massive. It's gonna be 90 pixels. Now, while we're here, we might as well go in and set our sizes for the smaller devices. So I'm gonna go into the tablet and over here, we're gonna set it to 56. And then on the phone, we're gonna set it to 36. Okay, so that look, that's looking great. All I have to do now is to save this and drag this above my first module. Okay, so now that becomes my title. 
Right, so the next stage is to stylize this area here. So as you can see, we can't read the text behind here. So let's go in and add a background. So I'm gonna come over here, click on background, and I'm going to add my color here. Now it's going to have some transparency, so I'm just gonna drag this down and paste my color in here. So those are my values. Next, we're going to set our text size. So I'm gonna come over here to design, text, and my text size here is going to be 16. And then I'm also going to change my text font to Roboto and select that. Now let's add our link text color. So I'm gonna come over here on the second tab and then I'm gonna click here to add my color and I'm gonna paste it like that. Now let's come over here to the unordered list. Now again here we're going to set our size and here we're gonna set it to 26. I'm gonna add some letter spacing. So here we're gonna set it to two. And then here on the indent, I'm gonna set this to 0 0.01. Now, as you can see here, our line height doesn't look great. So let's, um, let's set this to about 2 EM so that our spacing here looks much better. So while we're here, let's go to our heading two. So I'm gonna come over here to heading text, heading two, I'm gonna set this to Roboto. And we're also going to set our text size here and we're gonna set this to 56. So the next stage now is to add some padding in this text module. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to spacing and my padding is going to be 3% and I'm gonna add it all around. So this needs to go all around. And as you can see here, my spacing looks much, much better now. So the final stage is to give this module a custom CSS class. So I'm gonna come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And the class I'm going to add here is called account custom style. So with this class, we can target the module with some external CSS to put the firm, to put some final touches on the account information elements. We are un unable to target with the module settings. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to use this CSS code. In fact, you know what, I'll, I'll add a link to the post in the show notes below. So uh, this is the CSS code that we need to add. So I'm gonna save this now and then uh, to add our CSS code, we just need to come over here to expand settings and then click on this gear icon. Now here we need to go to advanced custom CSS and this is where we need to add the CSS code. Now this CSS here can be, uh, only targets this page. So it doesn't really mess up anything else on our website. So it only targets that page. So now that I've added my code, I'm gonna save this. Now it's time to go into the row settings. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon and then I'm gonna come over here to design, sizing, and I'm just gonna set my maximum width here to 1250. And then we're going to save. Right, so the next stage now is to style the featured product section. So what we're going to do here is we are going to add a brand new section. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, click on regular. So we only need one column. Now, before we can go in and add our modules, what we need to do is to copy these settings over here on our first section. So I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna copy section styles scroll down here and then paste them on this section that we've just added. So I'm gonna paste section styles and I'm also going to do the same with the rows. So I'm gonna right click, copy row styles and I'm gonna paste them over here. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is to add a text module and I'm gonna add a title in that. So let's search for our text modules first, select it and then I'm just gonna add some text which says special product offer. And then I'm gonna highlight it and set this to heading two. Now let's stylize this text by coming over here to design, heading text, heading two tab. So our font here is going to be prompt, similar to what we use on the top. And uh, we're also going to set it to bold. So I'm gonna come over here, set this to bold. And we also need to add our color here. So I'm gonna paste it. Now this time here on the heading two, we're going to set some letter spacing and uh, we're going to set this to five pixels. And we're also going to set the size to 56, which is nice and big. And then we're going to save. Right, so the next step is to add a second row. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and we are going to go with this column structure right here. I'm gonna select that. 
Now over here, I'm gonna add a Woo images. So this is a specific Woo commerce image. So I'm gonna select it. Now what we need to do is to specify the image that we're going to add here. So you can choose whatever image you want. So by default, you get this latest product, but you can target a specific product here. So I'm gonna go with hoodie with zipper. So the products you can add here are products that are on sale. Okay, so I've added my product in there. Now you can further customize the sale badge by coming over here to the design. So sale badge color, I'm gonna click on the eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. And then we can change our font to Roboto. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we just want some consistency here. We're also gonna make it all caps and the letter spacing is going to be five pixels and the line height is going to be 1.3. Okay, so now let's save this. And then next we're going to add a divider. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for divider and select it. Next, we're gonna come over here to design line and we're gonna add a color. So we're just gonna add a gray color here for our divider. And then over here on spacing on margin bottom, we're gonna set this to 10 pixels. And the divider weight needs to be, let's go back over here. Let's go to sizing. The divider weight needs to be three. And then let's save this. So this divider here needs to be over here to the right column. All right, so now that you've added this, we need to add a title to this. So let's go to Woo Title and select Woo Title. So here again, you can specify the title that you need to add on there. So I'm gonna add this one here. Now let's customize the heading. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool and go to my title text. So I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna change my font here to Roboto, and then the size, we're gonna set this to 38. I'm gonna save that, and then we're gonna add the price. I'm gonna click on this plus button, add our Woo price. Okay, so now the next stage is we can also go in and customize these, uh, these colors here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna come over here to design price text, and we're gonna change this to Roboto. So we are, like I said, we're only doing this for consistency purposes. And uh, we're also going to add the color by coming over here and pasting it. So now you can see that our colors now are working well with the design that we have here. So that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna save. Next, we're gonna add a description. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and search for Woo description, select it. And again, we want to make sure we target our main product. And I'm gonna go with this one here. And I'm gonna go with the description. Okay, so what we need to do here is to first add a background color by clicking on this plus button and adding our color like that. And as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors, I will link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so the next stage is to just click on this brush tool and this is gonna take you to the design tab. And over here, we need to go to the spacing and just add some breathing space on our module. So I'm gonna add 20 pixels all around like that. So as you can see, this is looking much better now design-wise. So I'm gonna save this for now. And then next, I'm gonna add the add to cart module. So I'm just gonna search here for my woo, add to cart. So here, we need to stylize this button. So I'm gonna click on this brush tool, activate use custom styles for button. And then my text color here is going to be white. So I'm gonna to go to my recent colors because I think I've used white. Actually, no. So I'm just gonna drag the slider all the way up. And then I need to add my button background color. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and paste my color in here. And all I have to do now is to remove the border width. So that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna save. And then the next stage is to come over here to my row settings. And I'm gonna go into my first column here and add a background color. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and paste my color in here. And then I'm gonna come over here to padding and go to spacing. And here I just need to add 25 pixels all around just to give this some breathing space like that. And pretty much this is our design. So what you can do now after this is you can go in and add more products to this section here. 
But the most important thing here is when you take a look at this, this is a custom login, uh, custom account page for your uh, customers. So when they log in, this is the page that you can see. So as you can see, we have a lot of flexibility here when it comes to designing this. And this even looks much better if you add an image without a background. So pretty much, let me show you what this looks like after you've added two products in this area here. Right, so this is our final design. So you can see here, I have the two products and I also have my add to cart button. But as I mentioned before, you can go in and specify which products are on sale that you can add to the My Account page. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.